Race one ready. And racing and jumping well the inside here as Jeez Louise is going to go to the lead out wide now. Totes is also charging up and look at the run through for Thrilling Boris now. The favourite goes straight through to take the lead. Getting to fourth is Hedgebrook Acid. Just in behind. Here we go to Double Eyes also back in the field too. But Dark Witch also getting back as another jet. They go behind Thrilling Boris easily from Totes third. Oh, that's very close. Carl Drago in a photo there with Jeez Louise. Nothing in that. And also closing off well there we had Hedgebrook Asset. The rail there we had an, uh, another jet. Also back to uh, Dark Witch. And just up ahead of them uh, would have been double ice. Ready. And racing and off the inside or slow away there was Pickering off the inside here as Nana's Gill straight to the front and now looking to drive through with Zircon out wider here on the track too was Whirling Eddie getting a run through Steffi Star back here to Candy Crusher also back in the field home was Fredo Catalia Star and Pickering missed the start they go for home Zircon racing away Zircon will get the second all oh, that's very close Candy Crusher arriving late and a photo there was Whirling Eddie and not too far away there on the inside to Steffi Star out wider here on the track getting home was home was Fredo and it just in behind Pickering, I think, might have got past one. If he did, it was Kalia Star. Ready. And there they go. And off the inside, you're so free. Jumped out well there with the Alamein Blonde looking to get around the outside and trying to get into it now is Thrilling Right. The rail opens up there for Little Profit. Not far away is Alamein Jude also. Lakerville looking to get into the race. Wider here on the track to Good Time Mike. Out the back is Alamein Jude and Torero. They charge into the back and you're so free. He's going to take them there. Sets them up two or three in front now of Lakerville. Gets a nice run through. Just on the outside, Thrilling Right is right there. They've broken away on Alamein Blonde. Just in behind Alamein Jude. Good Time Mike back in the field. We've got there uh, getting back also. It was uh, Torero and uh, Little Profit. They run to the corner. You're so free. Still in front. Trying hard the inside here. It's thrilling right. But you're so free all the way from thrilling right. Then we go to Alamein Jude. Lakerville got a bit tired. And a photo there for fourth there with the Alamein Blonde. Then we go back on crossing to Torero. And good time, Mike and Little Profit. Set to go, ready. And racing and flying out there is Magic Danny's going to go straight to the front now, pushing up on the inside is Dream Zone, trying to get around the outside with it. There was uh, Brilliant Ashley just in behind. We go to uh, War Boys, also a Palmer Blair looking to loop them back here to Carpilana. Back in the field spot on Maggie, finding trouble with Homebush Dawn. They go for home and Magic Dandy. Magic Dandy from Brilliant Ashley just holding second there from Dream Zone. Then we go here to uh, Palmer Blair getting home okay, just in behind to War Boys. Then we go back to Carpilana. And back towards the tail here, spot on Maggie and Homebush Dawn just coming past us now. and big time Moolah stepped out well out wide goes straight to the front now from Ivanhoe Nitro Mary's nice in the handy they've broken right away on the rest of the field trying to get around the outside serve your purpose the inside Homebush Naki not far away Homebush Pippi also downgrade King and also getting back there is uh, Apollo Baxter up they come big time Moolah easily Nitro Mary a nice run to second then we go here to uh, Ivanhoe has got through for third a blanket finish for that fourth placing and that's close there between serve your purpose downgrade King downgrade King serve your purpose that's close and also back on crossing here to Apollo Baxter and Homebush Naki. <music> the favourite here, Charlie Bobo, ready. 
And racing and jumping out well there as Lily's Mask smoking along there with Charlie Bobo pushing up and around the outside goes Corborn. Josh into second. The rail for Opawa. Gavin gets through to third. Out wide here we go to Corborn. Ohio even wider on the track to Falante. The rail opens up for Homebush Bounds. Out the back is Mariah and Lily Mars smoking. Down the back they go and Charlie Bobo away in the lead by three or four. Trying to come out after it now is Opawa. Gavin not too far away there is also Corborn. Ohio Homebush Bounce also looking to run on. They go for home. Charlie Bobo. Opawa. Gavin switches to the end but Charlie Bobo home from Opawa Gavin then we go to a Corborn Ohio Homebush bounce not a bad run then on crossing Corborn Josh dropped away then we go back to Falante and towards the tail here Mariah and Lily Mars smoking Makes me mum jumped out okay, but not as good as Ricky's Rebels going up with it. Now looking to go between them as that's King. The rail opens up for Opawa. Massini goes after Makes me mum. Getting into third now is Alame and Jar. Back in the field we go to Corborn Gable. Also Ricky's Rebel. Just in behind here we go. Splitting runners as Alame and Jar out wide. Look it up. And out the back now is that's King. And also Ricky's Rebel drops away across the top. Makes me mum the one they've got to catch. A couple now on Opawa. Massini not too far away as Alame and Jar. And also running on as Look it up. They go for home. Makes me mum kicking hard though. Makes me mum will get there from Opawa Massini, then we go here to Alamein Jarrah, better run, Corborn Gable got to fourth, then on crossing we had Lick It Up, just in behind that there too, but thrilling, Dylan didn't get into it that's King was also back with Ricky's Rebel Set to go, ready. And racing and jumping nicely as your dreams will go straight to the front now from African Princess out wide. Here we go to Allegro Charm looking to get into the race. The rail opens up for Fredding Pots. Just beside that now to African Princess, uh, rather should be there, the uh, Corborn Mark. Back here we go to Allegro Title, also repeat visit. Sammy backed her up, they come. African Princess will get there from another Charm going another good race. Here we go here to Azure Dreams. Plating Puss there got through for fourth, then on crossing two. Repeat visit, then we had uh, Corborn Mark. And not too far away, just in behind their electro title. <music> Lewis sent on its way, set to go, ready. And racing and jumping well the inside here is Liz Wallow along there with Captain's Choice also looking to get around the outside is Homebush Limbo also Opawa Tom over. Wide here to Sedgebrook Charm getting up underneath that is Gully Crusher getting a bit of a shuffle there Homebush Limbo back in the field we go to Dallas Baxter and take away they go for home. Captain's Choice got to the lead though and comes away. Captain's Choice very close here for second Opawa Tomo possibly on the inside of Liz Wallow but that could go either way very close. Fourth there would have been a Sedgebrook Charm Homebush Limbo not too far away then on crossing there we would have had a Gully Crusher. Ready. And racing, Bill Fast Money comes right away and puts about two or three now on Witch Misty and trying to get around the outside as King Hit Mike gets to third. Just on the inside to Ella Baxter, Death Star, sweeping around the outside. Another key also, Gully Runner running into it out the back. Knocker story, they go for home. Inside, Witch Misty cut through for Clark. Out wide, Bill Fast Money, Witch Misty gets the win here. Very close here for second. We had King Hit Mike, the inside, pushing up on the inside of Bill Fast Money. That could go either way and not far behind them, Gully Runner. And they pretty much broke away on the rest of the field. Set to go, ready. And racing and jumping off the inside. Mighty Twist jumped out well along there with Ziggy Baxter. Blazers Corporal also charging up around the outside. Comes home with Oliver. Opening up the row now. Pedro's carrot whipping around the outside as PJ Pringles. Back in the field now we've got to Homebush. Muller also back as you know. Margaret, they go for home. Ziggy Baxter finds lead. Comes away to win this from Pedro's carrot. I think it's got three for second. Close for third. 
We've got mighty twists here. Now, PJ Pringles was flying and coming with it was Hugo Marguerite. Uh, you know Marguerite. And just in behind there, uh, Homebush Marlow wasn't uh, too far away. And towards the back of the field here, we would have had uh, PJ Pringles. Set to go, ready. And there they go, and out wide, flying out anyway. He's going to try and cross the lead, but now pushing up is Joey back to trying to go with it. It's right on time. Around the outside, Odd Fellow also screaming into it. The inside there, Fo Power Viva getting around the outside to Gully Yappa. Back in the field to a Bundor and Lass also Corborn Bird. They go for home the inside. Joey back to Joey back to will get the saw. Great line up here for second. We had anyway was coming through the centre and a flying home along the inside there was Gully Yappa out wide on the track. Also, we're picking up. Uh, there we may have had, uh, was it Odd Fellow? And just up ahead of Odd Fellow there, uh, Sprite on time was also pushing up on the inside. And racing and jumping well out wider here was Pacific Five, but not as good as Kyla Rose pushes up to the lead now, going with it. Magic Gina trying to get around the outside now was Pacific Five, pushing up on the inside to Opal Jill back in the field, be very good. Also back there is Winfield Autumn out the back is Huggle Monster. Chief back to they go for home the inside. Kyla Rose trying hard. Magic Gina dives. Oh, this is very close. Magic Gina's had a dive at Kyla Rose. Kyla Rose, Magic Gina, Pacific Five got to third. Then we go here to Opal Jill, be very good. And it's just in behind that on crossing. Huggle Monster was uh, back in the field. <laughs> Set to go. Ready. And racing and coming off running the inside there is high percentage, but giving it a bit of a run for its money is Miss Hook. And just in behind, here we go to uh, Mama Ray. Not too far away is V. Very lovely trying to get up on the inside to uh, Hyde Baxter. Back in the field, we go to 5K legs. So unbelievable's also got back with Marlow Marina, but away goes high percentage easily. Gets there from Miss Hook, possibly. Has just held second and charging home there with V. Very lovely. And not too far away up on the inside to Mama Ray. Hyde Baxter wasn't far away. 5K leg closing off OK. And back towards the tail here, we would have had Marlow Marina. Ready. And racing and jumping out well, the reserve dog Lynn Bax is going to show the most speed to run to the lead from Lockie Jill. The inside there to Big Ben's also pushing up the broken away on Sasha McBell. Just in behind here we go to Cosma Hollock trying to get around the outside. They pay who fly back in the field also there to TV Kitty. They go for home. It's a charge driving the inside. Big Ben. Big Ben all very close here for second. Uh, we had there Lynn Baxter was in a photo there with Sasha McBell. Sasha McBell, Lynn Baxter nothing in that fourth was Lockie Jill and they broke right away on the rest of the field here. Smart Dandy. No pay who flyer was also back there with the TV uh, kitty. And the other one there, if I didn't call it, was a Cosmoholic. <laughs> 